Okay, at the time, 16-year-old Kata Smith took three young men to a wooded area in Indianapolis, Indiana, with the intentions on robbing them, but telling them that he was going to sell them a gun before he sold them the gun. He was trying to show them how it worked. And he ended up doing some other stuff to, un, you know, rob them. He unalived them and stuff like that. So anyways, they had evidence and stuff like that to make him be like the number one suspect. So they arrested him and everything like that. He went to court. I guess a lot of evidence they got due to like, they ain't have a warrant or some crazy stuff like that. Or he was underage or something. I don't know what it was. But um, <clears throat> they ended up letting him out on house arrest. Well, he they, he was a, the prime suspect in killing three people, and they let him out on house arrest. And when he was out on house arrest, they say he was on Snapchat with drugs and guns, so they picked his ass back up, took him back down, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they just gave him 189 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was just crazy. Like, Indiana is wild as hell, boy. But y'all, uh, tell me what y'all think, and we're going to pray for the family. And yeah. In October 2021, a tragic and shocking crime took place in Indianapolis, Indiana. A 16-year-old named Caden Smith lured three young men, Abdullah Mubarak, 17, Joseph Thomas, 18, and Michael James, 22, into a secluded field under the pretense of showing them how a Glock switch works. The device, which converts a handgun into a machine gun, was the lure that drew these victims into a deadly trap. Once they were isolated in the woods, Caden turned on the three men. According to court testimony, he had planned to rob them and executed them using the very weapon he had promised to demonstrate. The victims were shot multiple times, and investigators found over 59 mm cartridge casings at the scene. Their bodies were left in a tall, grassy area near Meridian Street, where police later discovered them. Smith was identified as the prime suspect through phone records and communications between him and the victims, his arrest, however, was complicated by procedural issues. Key evidence had to be thrown out in 2022 due to a faulty search warrant. Despite being released on GPS monitoring, Smith violated the conditions of his release when investigators found photos of him with guns and drugs on Snapchat, leading to his re-arrest on his 18th birthday. In August 2024, after a long and complex investigation, Caden Smith was convicted of multiple charges, including three counts of murder, felony murder, robbery resulting in serious bodily injury, and possession of methamphetamine. He was sentenced to 189 years in prison. His actions and the devastating loss of life have left a permanent mark on the families of the victims, who will never get to see their loved ones grow and live full lives. Prosecutor Ryan Mears emphasized the impact of this crime, noting how it destroyed the futures of three young men. Justice may have been served, but the pain lingers for the victim's families. Caden Smith will now spend the rest of his life behind bars for his horrific actions.